Also bei der Ballondilatation der Ohrtrompete. Balloon dilatation of the Eustachian tube is an innovative, minimally invasive therapeutic procedure, which enables us to treat dysfunctions concerning ventilation of the middle ear successfully. In this procedure, the eustachian tube is dilated using a catheter, which is inserted into the tube during the operation. Then the eustachian tube is dilated at 10 bar for about two minutes. And the better part of the patients treated so far have experienced a marked functional improvement and thus have been successfully treated for this kind of dysfunction. The instruments for balloon dilatation of the eustachian tube using a spigel and tice balloon catheter comprise a number of different components. The insertion instrument with defined advance. Three distally tilted attachments and corresponding optics. The inflation pump for single use with pressure indicator and stop function and an extension tube. A cleaning and sterilization basket is available. And finally, the balloon catheter itself, packaged in a protective tube. The instruments comprise three attachments that are color-coded and tilted at 70, 45 and 30 degrees. All distally tilted attachments can be used with the insertion instrument, depending on the patient's anatomical conditions. After use, the instruments are cleaned in a validated way using the cleaning and sterilization basket. Connect the insertion instrument to one of the three different distally tilted attachments using the ring nut. Aspire a sufficient amount of physiological saline solution into the piston of the inflation pump. Make sure that the pump's reservoir contains virtually no air bubbles. Lock the pump using the switch. Carefully remove the balloon catheter from its protective tube. Remove the stabilizing wire and the protective cap from the distal catheter part. Then insert the catheter into the insertion instrument, making sure that the white shrink tube has been inserted completely. This way it's guaranteed that the balloon is inserted into the eustachian tube in the defined length only, 
and does not damage the mucous membrane in front since it's completely contained in the instrument. During the operation, the balloon catheter is pushed forward within the insertion instrument. Connect the inflation pump with the catheter either prior to or during the operation. For actual dilatation, put a pressure of 10 bar on the balloon catheter. Pre-operative diagnostics are a basic prerequisite for a successful operation. Thorough recording of the medical history, inspection and endoscopy of the nose and throat area, CT, DVT of the petrosal bone, tympanometry, audiometry, eustachian tube manometry according to STEV if required. Pre-operative preparation includes decongest and nasal drops, endoscopic work using a monitor with camera and documentation system, corresponding optics and a powerful light source. Additionally required instruments are nasal specular, suction device, bayonet dressing forceps, mouth gag for pharyngeal access if required. We routinely carry out eustachian tube dilatation using the 45 degree optics and the 45 degree tilted insertion instrument. For special cases, other instruments are available as well. Insert the balloon catheter into the insertion instrument, making sure that the blue arrow at the end sits tight. Insert the endoscopic camera into the nose like with a normal nose inspection and localize the tubal ostium of the opposite side. Now insert the insertion instrument with the balloon catheter on the side to be treated. Placing it within the ostium of the eustachian tube. Avoid entering the fossa of Rosenmüller. Make sure that the distal part of the instrument is not inserted too far to avoid the catheter being pushed all the way through to the bony part. Now push the balloon catheter forward smoothly. Connect the inflation pump with or without extension with the catheter. By performing a screwing movement at the inflation pump, now fill the catheter up to a pressure of 10 bar. This way, the balloon catheter will dilate the narrowed area of the eustachian tube. Hold the pressure steady for two minutes. Release the quick lock, relieve the pressure of the pump, and aspire. 
the eustachian tube has been dilated. Remove the insertion instrument with the catheter from the eustachian tube. With ipsilateral access, both the endoscopic camera and the balloon catheter are inserted in parallel through the same nostril. It should be noted here that the anatomical conditions should not be narrow. After positioning the catheter within the tubal ostium, the subsequent steps of dilatation are identical with the standard method. With pharyngeal access, the endoscopic camera is inserted through the oral cavity. With this method, the tubal openings of both sides are well visible. The balloon catheter itself is inserted endonasally on the side to be treated using the insertion instrument. In case of difficult anatomical conditions within the nose, this access method has many advantages. After correct positioning of the catheter, the actual dilatation procedure is also identical with the standard method. In post-operative care, we recommend the Valsava maneuver regularly, that is, three to five times a day, starting on the second day after the operation. Control examination should be performed six weeks, six months, and one year after dilatation.